So I thought I'd talk today about um, color stacking. Uh, color stacking is uh, one of the finer points of combat in Empires and Puzzles that, frankly, I did not understand uh, in the early going. Um, but in fact, it's incredibly useful. In fact, really, it's the key to success in combat. Um, color stacking just means um, bringing more than one hero uh, of each color into the combat. And obviously, since there's five colors, you know, the more you bring in, that means you have to have another color that's not represented. And whenever those um, colors are not represented, that when the tiles go up to hit, they do no damage, or they do one damage. Um, but... Uh, when you color stack, what it's actually doing is it's adding the attack power of your heroes together. So if you look at, on a particular hero, like here's Caveman, his attack power is 650, looking at the little sword icon there, and so on and so forth. And you can see here that the, each hero has, you know, a certain amount of attack power, a certain amount of defense power. Um, and so when you're color stacking, it adds all those attack powers so that when you're, let's say you're doing green, um, it's like a typical team for me here that I often use to color stack is, I don't know, this isn't actually it, but uh, a typical color stacking team like would be like that for me, with three greens all at, together. So you're stacking all three of those at the same time. And so what happens is when you hit with green, particularly against the color that they do the most damage against, um, it's just incredibly devastating. Um, so, you know, I could show this to you in um, PVE, you know, playing against different, uh, uh, one of the levels here, but PVE is kind of, PVP is kind of really where it makes the biggest difference. Uh, say in war, like my alliance is currently in the midst of a war, which is about even there so far. But uh, ooh, look, I'm alive. I'm one of the few that are still alive. Interesting. But anyway, we'll do this in some raids just so we can show you what it looks like. So at, at the level I'm rating at, which is, you know, kind of on the, I'm usually at, in the in the diamond or just below it, depending on how, if I've been knocked down. Um, but um, you can see here the different, uh, uh, powers I'm going to, they, they tend to be right around 4,000, so very elite teams, it's pretty much all, um, uh, all five stars or max out four stars that you're going up against, and these guys are really hard to take down, here's not so tough team, they've got a four star tank in the middle, but I'll show you an example here, this is a um, typical team that I take for, because I can stack gold very strong, um, against a purple tank in the middle. Um, so watch what happens when I go against him. And obviously, the danger here is that you'll start at a battle and you won't have any of the tiles in the color that you want in the middle. And it happens. Um, here it is. I actually start out pretty well. I actually have a decent representation of yellow. So watch how much, when I've got three guys all together, you know, 718 power, uh, 574s, and 840, so that's, you know, just tons, tons and tons of attack power. So what happens when we hit this purple tank with color stacked with the correct uh, oppositional? And of course, if you don't know, you can always click here in the upper left-hand corner and see what color does the most damage against what other color. But look at this. This won't kill them, but um, I know from having fought battles like this that I typically need a total of six yellow tiles to kill him. Just six. You can see there that actually got him down more than halfway. Now here's the challenge. I don't have uh, another connection, but the idea is with uh, color stacking, you're usually going color stacking against the tank. So I just keep hitting that tank, just trying to clear out uh, these things until boom, I get one and boom, look at that. It just takes him out. So that's the benefit of color stacking. Um, and I'll just finish this up real quick here. Um, is the, when you color stack, it is much more, you're much more board dependent, which is to say that you are relying upon the board uh, much more than if you had a balanced team. But the benefit is that 
when you get good boards, as people say, which is to say with the colors that you want for your stacked heroes, um, it can just be devastating. So you can see here now I've got Leonidas up, and I've got these guys up, um, and this is going to be a pretty easy fight for me here. So I, I forget... So that was like a, I think that team was about 3850 powers. It was about the same power as me. Um, and then I'll just, now I've got a gap here, I'll just send stuff up the gap because I don't really care about it. Um, I mean, this, things would have to go really badly at this point for me to lose. Um, and we're going to get a heal off, and there's more tank, more uh, of our color. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um... Uh, so here we go. Oh. So he's going down. It's just a matter of time. But so you can see the benefit of color stacking. It really is <coughs> the way to go. Um, and sometimes you will get unlucky, and you will just not get that anything in the color that you want in the in the middle, and it, and it stinks. But obviously, the extent to which you do it, um, how far you color stack depends on. Um, how much risk you're taking. So like here's here's a color, you know, <clears throat> a four hero color stack. This is the one I use. I'm currently using against a Titan. We have a blue Titan um, that we're fighting. And so well, let's see if I've actually got a... Uh, uh, no, I don't have a uh, power up for the Titan right now. But you can see there. So it's very risky in um, attacking him. Uh, something like that. Because if you... If you fare poorly and you don't get any good green combinations, things can go very, very bad for you. Uh, but if you do get those combinations, it can go pretty well. So I'll give you an example. So you can even do a mild color stack. So I'll tell you, like, here's one that I use a lot. Um, uh, is stacking like that with just two color stack. Um, just having, like, that extra pop on that one power can really be beneficial. Um, but you're not really taking much of a risk because you've only got one, um, color that you're not using, um, which in this case is red. Uh, and I tend to do this without red a lot just because looking at my, my team, you know, I don't have a five star red. It's the one color I do not have a, a five star of, five star hero. Um, and so, um, I tend to not use, and the one that I do have, the highest ascension is, uh, this guy with a slow, uh, slow mana speed. I tend not to take slow mana speed people into combat PvP just because it's detrimental. Um, but obviously, you can see. So you kind of have to work it according to your team, your heroes that you have, um, and uh, you know, just look at your overall team and see what what you can stack very well, what you can't stack very well. Um, another thing you can use color right now because my war timer isn't up is you'd be surprised how much damage you can do in war against tough tough teams with wimpy heroes i'm talking like th two star and three star heroes that you take like a, a stack of all co all one color against like a really tough you know so here's one with a, a red tank so if i had five wimpy blue heroes. I put them all in a row and take them against this guy. And again, you're very much depending on the board. But in that circumstance, you can often take out the the tank and maybe even one or two other heroes in the middle there using wimpy wimpy heroes just because you've color stacked. Um so like let's take for I can't actually attack now, but looking towards the bottom of my thing here I could take some of these guys that I hardly ever use uh, in combat. Ulmer, people like that. <laughs> Even, gosh, two-star wreck, whatever her name is. Um, and, again, it doesn't look very much. But let's say I took uh, her or uh, her Valeria. Over, let's see what it is. It's 479. So it's about 1,000. That's about 1,400 and change. She's pretty whippy. That's you know, 1,650 or so. So that's over 2,100 attack power that you get with the blue tile. Tough 
fully extended um, five star hero, you can do some serious damage. So that's something that's fun to do in war, is if you don't have a particularly deep team of, you know, really strong four and five star heroes, um, you can just take some of these guys to the, the guys at the bottom, and believe it or not, you can do a ton of damage. Um, you know, you probably won't take out that team, but what you can do is you can knock a big old hole in the middle of it for another member of your alliance um, to come in and do some real damage. And obviously this works in um, PvE as well. So for instance, uh, if you were like take on the Dark Lord, everybody there, uh, there's only one level there, they're all purple. So when you fight the Dark Lord, I would bring at least a couple of good gold heroes if you got them, because it will just do a lot more damage against those guys. So anyway guys, that is the basics of color stacking. I hope that's been a help to you.